What's good? It's your favorite people. You're back with another cooking video. Okay, guys, so this is the cooking video for my chili mukbang. So I'm going to let you guys see everything that I got. These are two cans of pinto beans, two cans of tomato, um, not the paste, but diced tomatoes. We have some cut up onions. That's a half a cut up onion, some green and red pepper, half of both. And then we have some garlic. So what we're going to do, and we also have some veggie broth. We're going to put the garlic, onions, red peppers, green peppers in the pot. You hear me? Okay. Let's move that. We're going to put some chicken broth. I mean some veggie broth. We're going to put some veggie broth inside of here. We're gonna go with about this was about a cup because it wasn't a lot of hell. I used it from another meal that I did. Can't even tell you, but it was something. Now we're gonna let these cook right here. We're gonna let these saute for about five minutes. You wanna see here? Let the people see. We're gonna let these saute for about five minutes. We're making chili. So while these are saute with the uh, veggie broth, I'm gonna show y'all something right here. The reason why we use the veggie broth for flavor. If you're a non-vegan, you can use beef broth or you can use um, vegetable broth, okay? Or you can use chicken broth. Right here, these are kidney beans. They look to something like this, but these are not kidney. On my on these, these are kidney. These are just red, regular small red beans. But these are in a pot are kidney beans, okay? This is my crock pot. The only way I eat beans is if they was in a crock pot, cook it for 8 to 10 hours. Okay, they're done. I got them on low because, you know, soften they out of batter sometime. I'm going to let them cook for a couple minutes until I'm done with the rest of the chili. We're going to put these in the chilies. You can see they done. You can see them to your liking. It's all up to you. See that? Ooh, that crock pot did justice. Now, when you want to cook your beans in your crock pot, you want to make sure... When I, listen to me, Captain. You want to make sure you clean them the night before. You put them in a bowl, fill it halfway over water, put a top on it, set them in the refrigerator, and you want to leave them in there for at least 10 to 12 hours. You want to get up in the morning between 6 to 8 in the morning, and you want to put them in this crock pot, and you just want them to cook. You just season them up how you want, put garlic, salt, whatever. If you're a meat eater, you can put meat in there, and you just let them cook for 8 to 10 hours. That way, about 3, 4 in the afternoon or 6 in the afternoon, the latest, they should be done. Okay? So that's the best way to cook your beans. And the reason you soak them overnight is to get a lot of the gas off. Okay? So that is the best way to cook your beans. Now, over here, what we're going to do, since these are getting a little soft, we're going to season them. We're going to add some seasoning salt, about two tablespoons if you want. We're going to add some chili powder. Same with that. About two tablespoons if you want. Some Mr. Dash. Two to four tablespoons if you want. And now it's time to pour all these in. First, we're going to go with the pinto beans. I know y'all like, why you got so many different beans? Because it's good. Then we're going to go with another can of pinto beans. Okay. I'll be right back. Yeah, so now we also have the bush black beans. Low sodium because I ain't feeling all that sodium. So we're going to put some of those in there. So, so far we got pinto beans, black beans, and we're going to have red kidney beans. Which is most people usually know knows that as chili beans. Right here we also got one more can of black beans also. Okay. Now we're going to stir it up. We're going to stir it up. You can go in the pot to show the people how it look. So far, so good. These are the red kidney beans. Now, we're not going to do both yet because we still want to put the kidney beans in and then do other ones. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add the diced tomato sauce. There we go. Now, we're talking. No, not two cans yet. Just one. Now we're going to stir this up. Ooh. 
It's getting chilly. Ready up the hill. Wee baby. Show the people how that looks so far. All these good healthy beans, honey. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys. So we're back. These are two pounds of red kidney beans. And what we're going to do is we're going to dump them over here in this pot with the other beans. You know, and all the good sauce that I made. So we're going to get all this out of here. We're going to dump it over here. You don't necessarily need all that water, but I am going to use some of this juice off the kidney beans. Look at that smoking. This is really good for protein because we got four different beans. We got pinto beans, black beans, and we got uh, kidney beans. So we got three different beans, which is really good. I mean, you can put what you want in your chili. It's all up to you. You know, make it to your liking. You might want to season it a little. I know I'm going to season that a little more, but we got a little bit more to put in here. But right now, we're just going to. Get all these beans out of here that cook for 10 hours now. So, time to get all these out of here. Right, guys, so right here in this pot, we have TVP. What you do is you want to set it in the bowl for 10 to 20 minutes, and you want to let it rise. And it's going to look like a meaty base. This is the TVP, guys. This is going to be our meaty base. It looks a bread crown. But when you let it sit in water for about 10 to 20 minutes, the longer you let it sit, the more meatier it gets. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some veggie broth. They don't need too much. We're going to let this cook for about 15, 20 minutes. But what we're going to do is we're going to add some seasoning salt. Not too much because we already got seasoning and everything else. Pilly powder, while beans is cooking on low since they already done for the most part. And then we're gonna have some of that because we wanna season the meat still. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a good stir. And when we come back, you're gonna see this is gonna get browner and it's gonna look like maybe uh ground chicken or ground beef in a way, but it's not. It's 100% vegan friendly. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, guys, so we are back. And as you can see, the meat is smoking. It's been 20 minutes, and now it's done. This is the TVP. That was like a breadcrumb, but now it's into a meat form base now. It is now done. I put seasoned salt and my good seasonings on there, and I put a little bit of... Chili season. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this on low. This is done. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the chili back. And we're gonna start putting meat in the chili. What is chili without meat? Alright guys, so we're almost done. Now we're gonna put some tomato sauce in. It's up to you if you want to use a full can or not. And we're going to put our second can of diced tomatoes in. Our pot is getting pretty full. Um, we're pretty much done adding things. I'm making a big pot because I'm making for some for tonight for dinner. Oh, look at that. And then tomorrow, I'm meal prepping it for at least two, three days. There's only three people in my house, so this pot will last. Um, and the last thing we have to put in here is the McCormick, McCormick chili powder. Okay, so this is last, it's only 200 grams of sodium, but we're not going to use the whole bag. We're going to go with half. We'll use another one. We can go, because we already used other six. We can use six another day, the rest. Now we're going to stir it up. As you can see, we got that chili color. Yes, the camera head died, guys. So 
my apologies for that. But you seen us put the meat in. Well, me, me put the, well, you seen me put the meat in. So, look at that. We're going to let this sit for about seven more minutes. And it's pretty much done. And I'll let y'all see how it look in the end. And All right, guys. So, I'm going to do a mukbang. I got my bowl. Right here, chili. This is the bowl of chili that I'm, we're going to have for about two days, which is good because I ain't got to cook. I'm going to meal prep it out tomorrow. But as you can see, look at all them beautiful beans. And then we also have, and then we also have the TVP in here, which is our meat base. Hang it. See y'all in a minute.